But you know what's interesting is we uh, uh, I've been trying to ask our guest each week to ask um, the next guest, and I actually, uh, uh, even as an MMA nerd, didn't know that you and um, Josh Barnett might have some issues. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I, I, as I mentioned, I do a show for for ESPN.com, yeah. and, yeah. and uh, it basically said that you know I, I expected more out of his f- last fight against Gilbert Ivo, you know, yeah. and that. Uh, as did Josh, a lot of people. Josh Barnett is an A-class fighter. Um, I expect him to finish him in the first round, and I said, you know, he spent the majority of the round uh, of the round, you know, mounted on him, and couldn't finish Ivel, who's really not a ground fighter. And, and uh, I said, you know, for for him to, to fight Fedor, if we expect him to, to beat for Fedor. I expected a better performance against like, Gilbert Ivel, and I guess he freaked out, which, you know, and you know, derogatory things and swearing at me and on sure wow. on the radio or whatever. Sweet. And this about me and saying that and freaking out. And it was, it was such a tame comment. And he said, you know, and then he went on the internet and said, you know, that I'm beneath him because, you know, he's been fighting with, with headbutts and no gloves and fighting for years before me. And I should show more respect to him. And it was just weird. Well, it's kind of weird. You know, if you're going to. If you're going to fight on TV, you should be able to accept criticism. I have to do it. We all have to do it. This is a professional sport that's seen on TV by many, many people. And, right. and uh, I, I think, you know, he could have handled it more professionally. Yeah. And, uh, and basically, uh, we all have things to work on. That, that's the yeah. thing. I'm no, I'm no, you know, I don't consider myself above anybody, you know, and we should show respect to everybody. But that doesn't mean that, you know, because, you know, uh, Johnny Rhodes fought in UFC too. Uh, that uh, we should, you know, hold him as the MMA expert, or that <laughs> right. he knows it all because he fought before well, he hey. fought, fought before Josh Barnett. So Kenny, all uh, things to work on. We all should, you know, be able to be. Yeah, I, of each other. I, I, I'm going to take Josh's side and just say it's it's probably because you're just an asshole. He he knows you're an asshole, yeah. and then you called it's, him out. Yeah, you know what I mean? Oh uh, no, um, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Yeah, um, you know that is that, that's really really interesting I, because somehow, as much as I absorb a lot of MMA stuff, I never picked up on that. But is that something that happens a lot? Like all this kind of like battling back and forth with people? It doesn't yeah, pop up I've that never, much. I've never experienced it. Like, wow. boy, I knew it would happen eventually. Just because I'm a, I'm a current fighter who has to go in there, and my job is to critique other fighters' performances and analyze fighters and pick who's going to win and who's going to lose and what's going to happen. And, and, of course, we're encouraged to, to make it convincing and, and make it a, a, a strong point. You know, you, you can't go out there and uh, say, well, this guy may win. You know, it, it's tough, but we, we have to go out there and really give our, our opinion on things. That's what I get paid for. That's, that's my job. And just like you guys yeah. have to do the same thing. And, and uh, it'd be kind of silly for me to go out there. I can't believe you guys thought Joe Stevenson. You know, you said Joe Stevenson was going to kick my ass. And, yeah. You, know, you guys are idiots. You don't know what you're talking. That's your opinion. That's okay. your opinion. So, Kenny, since we've run out of time, let's get two predictions out of you, and then we're right. going to just mention your seminar once one last time. So, uh, uh, you versus Penn, who's going to win? Uh, <laughs> me versus Penn. Well, of course, I believe that I'm going to win. I'm going to okay. go out there and. and uh, you're going to go out on a limb on that one. Okay, and then uh, Josh Barnett versus uh, uh, Fedor Melnyenko. Who's going to win? <laughs> well, right now, Fedor looks pretty unstoppable. It would be hard to uh, bet against him uh, at heavyweight. That's for sure. He, okay, he's so machine. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let Josh know that you said that next week. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to defend you, Kenny. I'm a fan. And uh, Kenny Florian will be at Extreme Couture. Uh, March 22nd, that is uh, a week from Sunday. You can get tickets at extremecouture.ca or crashmma.com. Kenny, anything you need to plug? Anyone you need to thank? Nothing. Just looking forward to it, guys. Looking forward to the seminar. Looking forward to meeting everybody over in Toronto, Extreme Couture. And, and uh, just if anybody out there curious, wants to know more about uh, what I'm doing, check out kennyploying.com. And uh, anyone who's in Boston, uh, be free to... Feel free to stop, stop by my gym, FlorianMartialArtsCenter.com. So thank you, guys. Perfect. Thanks, thanks so man, much, Kenny. And, thanks and, so much. And you're going to need to apologize to uh, Kevin Kearns for taking so much of his time. Say hello to Flat Top for me. Uh, will do. All right, we'll, all right, we'll do thanks, that right man. now because he's on the line. Here we go. Care, guys. Thanks, Kenny. All right, all right now we, uh, we have Skyped in Coach Kevin Kearns. And Kevin hey, Kearns is a strength and conditioning coach. Strength who, and uh, conditioning guru. Guru, yes. Okay. And there he is. How you doing, Kevin? I'm doing fine. Tell Kenny to have another blizzard while he's uh, recovering from his tonsils. He likes blizzards. Yeah, that's, <laughs> he said, "Say hello to Flat Top." Is, is that yeah, seem fair? Yeah, yeah. I, he doesn't. He doesn't complain. He doesn't complain when Flat Top cook, cooks his meals out at a fight week. <laughs> <laughs> what do you What do you cook for him? 
uh, you don't want to know what I put in it. You know, he's like, what is this? Is this, is, this isn't a public hair, is it? No, no, that's not it. Um, you ever put any um, questionable supplements into his, uh, into his food? Uh, a la shirk? No, I don't do that. No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> I know. I know. Um, because you're known for really, you know, helping guys really develop real strength and real conditioning. Uh, what do you think of, of people who juice? Do you think they're just cheaters? Do you think they're lazy? What's your opinion, your official opinion? Well, you know, it, it, there's, there's no doubt that, you know, juicing may give you an edge, you know, but it, it, coming from the bodybuilding world, it only gave you like a 2 to 5% edge. So, you still there, guys? Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah we're, we're, we're hanging on every word. <laughs> so, yeah, so am I. Yeah. Um, so, so given that, I think if you're going to use, fine. Yeah. If you get caught, then you know what? Own up to it. You know, like Hermes got caught at UFC 73 and he owned up to it. Mm -hmm. So if you're going to get caught, you're going to get caught. Yeah. And own up to it. Yeah. Uh, look, rather look than the guys who say, oh, yeah, I use some nasal spray or whatever, right? Yeah, right. Okay. Yeah. Nasal spray with what? D ball in it? In your brain. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, anyways, how you doing, Kevin? I, uh, we just uh, uh, met each other for the first time at UFC 96. This, uh, was it 96? Yeah, yeah, it was 96. This last weekend. What did you think of the fights? The fights were great. I, I wasn't too happy the night before that my wife informed me that we were springing the clocks ahead after doing the Arnold Expo. I was like, you got to be kidding me. I'm going to be out with you guys and then uh, get about four hours sleep and then get back on a puddle jumper back to Boston. Nice. So, other than that... We had a lot of fun. It was great meeting you guys. I'm looking forward to doing the seminar at Extreme Couture. Robin, you're a great guy. We hit it off right away. Of course, we know Ted had a bunch of drama going on, but we won't talk about that. You, no, you know, well, maybe time. we should. Who was the drunkest fighter? We had, uh, we had a number of guests with Crash MMA. Um, yes. And uh, you notice that I'm not much of a drinker these days. I, I think you noticed that dinner. Um, uh, yeah, but you disappeared. You weren't in the suite. I couldn't find you. I so know. Where were hey, you? I'm not allowed in suites, but... Uh, but uh, who was the drunkest fighter? We had, we had uh, Lights Out Lytle, we had Chris Hordesky, we had Mark Hominick. Who, who got the drunkest? Uh, Chris Ordesky, definitely. He, <laughs> oh. was, he definitely. I was concerned about him. He kept walking towards the edge of the suite near the glass and dancing. Yeah. And little did he know that if he flipped over the other end, he wouldn't be uh, fighting too much more. No. Um, hey, did you happen to see when uh, I heard that, uh, just like brothers, I mean, the, uh, and when we joke around about stuff like this, it's all in good fun because these guys are just human and they work their asses off and they get a chance to take a break too. But um, that um, uh, Sean Tompkins, uh, famed trainer Sean Tompkins, uh, and Chris Hordesky, like brothers, were, were beating each other up in the box. Did you see any of that? <laughs> no, I missed that part. I, w I wish I could have caught that. We could have put that on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, get a lot of hits on that. So what's going on with you, man? What are you working on? You're coming up to Extreme Couture with Kenny, March 22nd yeah. for... Uh, Strength and Conditioning Seminar. What, what are you going to share with people? I'm going to share Dr. Evil's ways of getting people in shape. You'll find out. <laughs> nice. So, but how do, you kick, uh, how do you kick guys up a notch? Like, say they're already, you know, training six days a week, two times a day. Uh, they're really working hard. They're eating right, all that kind of stuff. How do you take them to the next level? What do you do? Well, that's a good question. You know, what we try to do is when we get close to the fight phase, six weeks before a fight, something I call gas in the tank. And those exercises need to mimic a fight. They look like a fight. If, you see the, if you've seen any of the videos, I know Robin just yeah. got the videos yeah. recently. Uh, if you watch some of those videos, you'll notice that the exercises really do mimic a fight. They look like a fight. There's a ground and pound exercise that we have a, uh, a big super band tied behind your waist. You're standing on a core board and you have a stability ball between your legs and you're trying to punch the ground for 30 seconds. I mean, that looks like being in somebody's open guard trying to rain down punches. So we try to make it very like a fight in it and you know we have a saying Kenny kind of coined this phrase uh, you know over two years ago when I started to work with them Kevin makes it so you can cry and traddle uh, excuse me cry in battle so you laugh in training so, you know it's the other way around cry in training laugh in battle <laughs> See, <laughs> that makes more sense <laughs> this, this is what happens when you get up at 4 a.m. every day yeah um, so um, and who do you like who do you love working with yeah uh, who, who are you working with now Kenny uh, Pellegrino who else are oh, you going to say, who do I love working with? Well, no. I'll take Kenny off the map. I don't love working with him. Yeah, so. no. <laughs> no. Especially, no. especially that six weeks before a fight when he's dieting down. He's very cranky. But is not he? at all. Is he an ornery bitch? Um, I wouldn't want to live with him. But, yeah, yeah. but, you know, usually when we're out in a fight, up to, the, up to the week of the fight, he can be, you know, which you can understand that. I mean, he's, eat, he's basically eating, like, dry tuna and, and spinach every day. So you'd be kind of cranky, too. 